Hi guys, please make this section of great interest to you. Please try to learn or overview everything I taught you in this section. It's very important. And this is how you become an expert in After Effects. It's not only about motion graphics, circles and rectangles and lines moving them around. It's also about learning how to deal with videos so you can apply lots of other effects. We have seen already the footage panel. The footage panel is used to edit footage, okay, to set an in and out and to insert or to overlay. You remember that when you drop your footage inside the composition is no more a footage. Now it's a layer over here. Unless you go back to the project panel, you can edit the footage. But over here, it has become a layer. So if you double click on the footage here, be it a video or an image, you double click, it will open in the layer panel. Why the layer panel is very important. The first small thing you can do is change the timing. But notice what's happening here. Instead of using the pan behind tool, I can just pan over here and see exactly what I'm looking at from here. Okay? That's very important. On the composition here, I'm a bit blind. Okay? I don't see what's happening. But here, I can see what's happening. If I go to the in point of the layer, I press I, it goes to the in point in your layer panel and in your, of course, composition. So actually the layer panel is a bigger view or a better view of your layer, be it a video or an image. So here makes it very easy to set your in point, to set your out point, and notice the edit is instant in the composition. But the layer panel is not only for this. It's also used with several tools. The first one, which is very nice, is the brush tool. This is where you come and apply brush or the effect motion graphics brush and you design it just over here. Of course, you're gonna go through the paintbrush, but I just want to draw your attention. You can start adding, you know, some brush strokes here. Then also it is used with the clone stamp tool. I'm sure you know this one, you press Alt and you start cloning on the other side. Okay, something like this. It's also used with the eraser tool, my favorite. You just erase. Okay, you're erasing everything and behind you don't see anything. The layer is transparent. Also, it's used with the Roto Brush tool, the famous one. You can just, you know, decide, okay, I want this part or the other part, and then separate the foreground. If you look over here, you have the view. You have the chance to view whatever you like. First of all is masks. This is by default. And then the anchor point. Because there are certain animations with the anchor point that you will do that are very interesting here. And it's like a panning or stories like this. Now also, since I use the paint, you notice now I can see the paint over here. And also I have the Roto Brush tool, I can see it over here. So actually, if you go to None, you can see everything without any effect. Masks, you can see masks. And of course, the rest here, paint and so on, you can see them. Actually, this is about the layer panel, and it's very important. For now, there is little work for you in the layer panel. I just wanted to bring it to your attention. Thank you very much for listening. I will see you in the next lecture.